Hello everyone, you are welcome to another interesting edition of Creative Forum on ABS TV and I am your host Chisum Udoba. As usual on the program we have a lot of things in stock for you. Yes, from the creative insights to the book for the week and then to the creative update. Trust me, you shouldn't miss this. So don't go anywhere and we'll be right back. Yeah, you're welcome back from that short break. And now it's time for us to introduce our guest to you. I'm sure you can bet I'm so excited. Yes, because we have someone really, really special in the studio. I have with me in the studio here, Amarachi Okafo, AKA Paint Diva, the Paint Diva Nigeria. <laughs> you're welcome to the studio, Amara. Thank you. Wow, your name, Paint Diva, Paint Diva NG. How did you come about the name? Okay, I'm, I'm a diva. Mm. Sure. So, because I'm into painting, mm. so it's Pink Diva. Wow. And I'm in Nigeria, so it's Pink Diva Nigeria. <laughs> well, that's, that's really, really creative. So, mm -hmm. our topic for today is painting as a form of creative art. Can you tell us what is painting? Like, in the layman's words, the way people understand it easily, what's this painting? What's it really about? Okay, painting is an art yeah. of applying pigment or colors or anything on a solid surface. So for you to have a color or um, any liquid stuff and applying it on the solid surface is painting. Okay. okay. So it's painting in the form of creative arts. Sure. Okay. What are the technicalities involved? Are there things that will make it creative or make it not creative? You know, creativity is it's inborn. Mm -hmm. It's something you come to, to the world with. It's not something you learn or something you buy somewhere. Mm -hmm. So for you to compare painting and creativity, as a painter, and you are a creative painter, mm. it's, you don't, there is no particular skill or method mm. that you say, this is the skill, this yeah. is the way to be a creative painter. It has to be inbuilt. Mm. Creativity in painting is you um, trying to, on a solid surface or in a canvas, yeah. anything plain, applying um, ideas or anything you have in your mind on that solid surface, just like playing with colors. Mm. Close your eyes, okay, this is the surface, and this is what I want to do. And then you close your eyes, okay, I have an idea. And then yeah. you use colors and with your brushes and your rollers, and then yeah. wow. do what you want. This sounds very easy. So does it mean that anybody can be a painter, or do you have to go through the training? You have to go through the rigorous training. I don't know if it's so rigorous, but do you have to go through the training, or you can just be a painter if you want to be? You can just be a painter if you want to be. You can paint. Yeah. But as a professional, you have to go through training. Mm. You have to know what you have to know color language. You have mm. to know color combination. Wow. You have to know what color to use at what time. Mm. You have to know what color to use for what weather. So for you to be a professional painter, you have to go through training. But as a creative painter, yeah. you have to be creative. That's wow. to be inside of you. Wow. You have to be creative. I love that part. You have to be creative. <laughs> Thank you. So I want to know, um, most times you see painters, people that do this thing, they look very pretty, but you said you're a diva and you look really beautiful. Is there, this, is there something attached to it that painters have to dress and wear the dirty clothes and this one and move around? Or is it just what people do around here? Okay. I Personally, I don't have an issue with how someone out there is doing his or her own stuff. Mm. But for myself, for my company, Paint Diva Nigeria, we believe that as a painter, you're trying to make, I call it giving life to a dead wall. Mm. You're trying to give life, so yeah. you have to be alive first. Mm. So you don't have to look dirty or wear shabby clothes painting. You have to put on your safety clothes, mm. that's the overall. Mm. You don't have, because you're painting, at the end of the day, you have paint, paint all over your body. Mm. So you have to be secure, wear your overall, your helmet, your boots, and then for because of chemicals, you have to use your, um, your mask, yes, yes, the mask. So, so they can filter the chemicals okay. and everything. So you have to be secured, yeah. not because I think that you expose yourself to chemicals yeah. and then 
stuff around the environment. Oh, because your life is important first, yes, right? Sure, exactly. Sure. Well, you have been listening to Amarachi Okafo, Pink's Diva NG. Well, we'll go on a short break now, but when we return, we're going to go deeper into this. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Yeah, you're welcome back from that short break. Again, I'm sure you saw that amazing video of Mara painting. That's really, really wonderful, and I'm so, so impressed. Wow, this is really wonderful. So people out there might be wondering, how long have you been into this painting and everything? Okay, officially as a business, officially as a company, three years. I'll be three years by August. Oh, wow. So there'll be a celebration or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll think about that. <laughs> okay, okay. So how did you learn how to go into, how to paint? Did you go through a training or just self-taught? Okay, like painting has been my thing. Mm. Okay, so I, did, I won't say I went to any special training school or stuff. I didn't go through that. Mm. It's been my thing from when I was small. Oh. I've been a creative person. Even when I was into modeling, creativity has been my watchword. Mm. So when I saw guys painting and I saw it's a business, yeah. I felt if these guys can do it, why not? I can wow. do it. So it has always been painting, painting, yes. painting. Yeah, sure. Wow, that's been interesting. So are there challenges attached to this, being in this industry that's filled with guys most times and other things? You know, in life, if I, will, I don't know if I should speak Hebrew, but you in Hebrew, please. they said um, um, that is Odi is your brio marker. Mm. So if all this while as a painter, if it's been easy, if it's been free, then yeah. it's a child's play. <laughs> I've encountered a lot of difficulties and challenges. Mm. That's because nothing good comes easy. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So what's your drive? What keeps you going despite every challenge, every issue? What keeps you going? Okay, as a young girl, I, I believe that God brought me to this world for a purpose. Mm. And I'm moving, um, I'm growing up in the fear of God, believing that I must have to achieve that purpose. Mm. Um, so I was sent here by my maker, God. True. So I believe that what my drive is working towards achieving that purpose. Mm. Because if I don't achieve it, my maker will be happy with me. Mm. That's, that's a very, very powerful point. Mm -hmm. We all have purposes, we all have things to represent into the world to do. And if you don't achieve it, man, what's the point? What's the point? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really enjoying this. So I want to know, do you have any words for people out there that might want to learn how to paint? Are there trainings coming up? People that want to join you okay. or join your company, things like that? Okay. First of all, we are, we are, if you go through our social media handles, um, we, are, we put up adverts that if you want to go to training, applications are still open. So this month and before we call for an interview. Oh, wow. Then if you are a painter and you think you have what it takes to work to work with me and then give life to dead walls, what you have to do is go, go to our social media handle or send an email to paintdiva at gmail.com. Yes. Tell us what, what you want to do. Then if you want to go for training, yes. so send an email to paintdiva at gmail.com and tell us this is what you want to do. Oh, so. Okay, I understand that most of this equipment you need for paints now is quite expensive and everything. How do you um, get them? How, how are you able to purchase these things and manage the whole fund and everything? Okay, this is a business, this is a company, so I'm not just into it. Mm -hmm. We have a team. Mm -hmm. So as a team, we come together, we plan, we have our goals, we have our rewards. Mm -hmm. So this is what we need for this work. So we put heads together and then get to them. Oh. But sometimes, most of the equipment we use, like, um, if we're doing a test coat painting, mm -hmm. test coat um, materials, the client pays for them. Oh, okay. okay. That's really, really nice. So how, how are you able to source for clients, for people that want this, this your, your skill, people that want you to paint for them? How are you able to source for them? Okay. That one is <laughs> it's going to be funny because when I started, I started... Um, you know, with free works, mm. free jobs. 
it was difficult trying to convince mm. someone that I can paint. Yeah. You know, when I wear my clothes, I would say, hey, look at this girl, fine girl, how can you be painting? And then right. some people think painting is, they, pee, they feel like they start pitying me. Mm. You know, she everything, garden, ma. So that kind of thing, they feel like she needs help and then she's poor and mm. then that's it. So it's not been easy, but what I do is, I'm not supposed to share this, but I go to sites. I take myself to sites, I go to uncompleted buildings, Ngozika Housing Estate, Rockland Estate, if you think, Amansi, I do go there, I trek, I do go there, I meet contractors at sites, I discuss with them, I can do this, I show them works I've done, mm. please, I can do this. And then, luckily for me, I get to be, have a bid, a deal with the contractor. Mm. Then the contractor might say, okay, I am fine maybe get the paint or maybe mm. do the painting. Okay. So all this well it's not been easy. Mm. I have to because you don't have to keep waiting for referrals or someone yeah. to write someone. You have to put in your own bit, right? But is there a role that social media please because it's like the social media era and everything. Yeah, 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 sure. The publicity, the referrals too, but most my most of my major works I do gather myself from site. I mm. go to site because you have to be in the th you have to be in the process. You have yeah. to go to sites, meet contractors, yeah. see how they do their things, convince them. You, you have to contacts, you yeah. have build contact. You, you, can't, you don't have to be to stream it. Just like for instance, um, okay, a doctor, a medical doctor, not going to the hospital. Yeah, and then right. you, you, you you go to your <laughs> Facebook and say, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor. Right. You have to go true, to the true, you have true, to be part of the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's really really interesting. Yeah. So finally, before we come to the end, do you have any last words for people? The creative people, young people around the whole country are trying to learn one skill or the other. Do you have any words for them to advise them? Okay. First of all, I would like to talk to the girls first. Mm -hmm. okay. If I go to the girls. As a young lady, <laughs> as a young lady, we know some people say it's um when a man word. Mm. I've heard that a lot of times. It's it's discouraging, you know. But I want to tell you, as a young lady out there, you think that you, there are things you cannot do. There's this idea in your mind. I know you are, you, it's going through your mind, but you don't know how to start it. You think that um, maybe someone else is doing it, so there is no need. There is competition in the world or something. My dear, we can't keep waiting for men to help us. It's time we sit up, it's time to stand up and then make a name for ourselves. If you keep waiting for that man out there to give you a name, you'll be messed up. Mm. Therefore, good. the guys, it's a guy <laughs> knows how to make prayer and everything. You just have to keep working hard. That idea you have in your mind, keep working towards it. And then don't forget to pray because social media has taken part of everything. Mm. We forget our spiritual life. Forget that the spiritual controls the physical. Exactly. So before you get to that place, you have to kneel down with your knee on the mm. floor and then talk to your maker. Tell him, Father, this is what I want to do. And then once you're working hard, trust me, once you're working hard, there is no way you will disappoint. Mm, mm. This is really, really deep. I'm sure you heard her. Yeah. Wow, I'm really, really blessed Yeah, Prayer path blessed. And also, I learned a lot from this. Thank you so much, Amara, for being here with Thank us. Thank you. Well, <laughs> as she said, you have to work on that skill you have within you. Okay. And don't also forget the place of prayer. Yes, it is really, really, really important. Well, this is where we come to the end of the segment. But don't go anywhere. We still have a lot in stock for you. Anybody that is into painting in form of art, it is a handwork as well. So people that are into it to be encouraged. Painting is a form of art that should be encouraged in Nigeria. Painting is something that is very creative in nature. It's a very creative uh, job. So I think I should encourage our youth to go into that. It's very, very lucrative. If it's my younger sister going for it, I will advise her to go because that is her choice. These days, parents of now, these days, want their children to do what really other people are doing. 
it's not like being what as in doing what other people are doing you doing what you feel like doing what you know you do best the book for the week is never look an american in the eye this is a book published by Oke Ndibe, a Nigerian writer who is based in America. The book is a memoir of the writer's life, his immigrant tales. The title of the book came from an advice he received from an uncle as he prepared to leave for America in 1988 to edit Chinua Achebe's new magazine, African Commentary. His uncle said to him, Americans can't stand any stranger looking them in the face. They take it as an insult. It is something they don't forgive, and every American carries a gun. If they catch you, a stranger, looking at them in the face, they will shoot. Okay, indeed, they had to break out of this stereotype and lots of others. Just as Okay Ndibe came to America with misconceptions about the country, he also chronicled the numerous misunderstandings Americans hold about Africans. Never Look an American in the Eye is one interesting book you should read. So, if you haven't read it yet, go get it. This is the Creative Update, where we bring you news about things happening in the world of creativity. Bet me, we have a lot of things for you today. Well, first on our list is the literary program coming up very, very soon by the Anambra Literary Society. It's going to be wonderful, poetry, music, and so much more. So just wait, and we'll bring you more information as it unfolds. Well, second on our list is the Writers' Fellowship by the Johannesburg Institute of African Studies in South Africa. So if you're a writer, just go straight to their website and register for this. It's going to be really, really wonderful. Well, next on our list is the Writer's Residency in Burkina Faso. Yes, you can register for, from, for this from any part of Nigeria and any part of the world too. It's going to be wonderful, a place to write, learn how to write, meet other writers too. So just register for this and you are going to thank me later. Yeah, and finally is the Abuja Literary Society Festival 2019. It's going to be coming up on the 11th to the 13th of July 2019. And it's going to be really, really wonderful. Poetry, drama, music, art, and so, so much more. I can't list everything. There'll be a poetry slam, there'll be a dance workshop, and so many things. Trust me, you can't miss this if you're a lover of art. So just get prepared and prepare and register for this too. You're going to thank me later, trust me. And this is where we come to the end of this program. But don't forget to follow us on Facebook at ABS Video TV, like this video, share with your friends, and leave your comments, and we are going to get back to you. Well, I am still your host, Chisum Udoba. Goodbye, till we see you next time. <laughs>